is Bobby from the Vespasian Warner Public Library, and I am here with another Tale from the Archive, where we talk about documents and, and artifacts from our local history collection. Today, we're going to be talking about the Fine Arts Center of Clinton, which was located in a house basically right behind us on West Macon Street, which is now a private residence. The Fine Arts Center was founded in 1960 by Dorothy Warner. She felt that this area needed a place for people to learn about art. The center offered classes on dance, all kinds of art, all kinds of media, creative writing, painting, sculpture, you name it. And even though people paid tuition to attend the classes at the Fine Arts Center, the Warners did the bulk of support of the center. Occasionally, the center would also have exhibitions from local artists. And we'll be talking today about this painting. This was by Ella Ellis. She was a Clinton housewife. And she was part of the exhibition of what they called hobby artists, so people who weren't professional artists but just made art as uh, in their spare time. And Mrs. Ellis was featured in the paper, here she is, with some of her paintings that were on exhibition here in Clinton, and I'm just going to read the section where they interviewed her. Asked why she paints Mrs. George Ellis, 281 East Adams Street, simply replied, I have to. She explained that with some people, painting may be just filling time, but not with her. She feels that she has to create. It's a compulsion, she said. Mrs. Ellis does no abstract art because she considers her paintings a form of communication. They tell a story either good or bad. Painting, Mrs. Ellis pointed out, is very similar to writing, only the artist uses paints and canvas while the writer uses words. Her favorite painter is John Martin, a watercolor artist. His paintings are most pleasing, Mrs. Ellis said. However, she has never copied her favorite artist's work. Mrs. Ellis has no specific time for painting. She works just as she feels like it. Asked whether she prefers oils or to other media, she answered, I use just about everything, including watercolors, drawing, and prints. She also does some sculpting, and you can see one of the sculptures that she made. Mrs. Ellis pointed out that she adapts her media to the subject she is painting at the time. Each subject requires its own definite technique. Mrs. Ellis has won several awards in art shows and has exhibited her work in a number of galleries in Washington, D.C., Jacksonville, Bloomington, Springfield, Peoria, Lincoln, and Clinton. She is currently showing her artwork at the Fine Arts Center. Thank you for joining us for today's Tale from the Archive, and I hope to see you soon.